Hi, I'm Professor Marsh, and I'm going to go over a few things in Photoshop. I'm going to try and break the tutorials up so you can, you know, watch them in small bits. Um, and the first thing I'm going to talk about, because it's really simple, is how to remove red eye. So I'm going to open up. You have all these um, images as well, so we're going to open up Chad with red eye, right here. And um, I'm going to get the red eye tool, which is underneath the spot healing brush, right? You can see the toolbar is right here. Um, if you don't know where the tools are, then you should be watching um, that basic video that I included. Anyhow, so here is the spot healing brush. At the bottom is the red eye tool. I grab the red eye tool. I select his eyes like this. And what do you know? Red eyes are all gone. He is no longer the child of Satan. He is now um, a more looking, well, I would say normal, but certainly less red eye looking Chad than he was before. This next thing I'm doing is cropping. I grab the crop tool here. And when you bring the crop tool up, you can see that you get these lovely rule of thirds things right here. So I can take a little of his headroom off. I can take a little of this sign off and this sign off. And I don't know if you think more Chad is better or less Chad is better. But anyhow, so there we have the newly cropped, no red eyed picture of Chad. Okay. Now, um, one of the things you also notice is that Chad has some skin issues going on here. And um, here we're going to use the uh, that spot healing brush that we talked about, right? So that's on top of the red eye tool. I pull up the spot healing brush. Nope, I do not want to change the. There we go. I pull up the spot healing brush. This is pretty. This is a pretty big diameter brush. So up here, I can control the size of the brush. I'm going to bring it down to, let's call it 8 pixels. And I did just kind of beside that. And now, if I click, and the reason I'm clicking is because what it does is it takes an average of all the pixels. And by clicking, enables you to uh, control it a little bit more precisely. So for instance, up here, you can see one click and goodbye blemishes. Um, now, there are a few things you need to be careful of, right? Which is that if I do something like this, right, I could get rid of Chad's nose, right? Because what's happening is it's, you know, it's getting rid of all of the, indis the distinguishing features and averaging all the pixels together and goodbye nose. You also have to be careful if you get near um, something that's dark, like his hair, um, because you can, you can end up dragging out the dark color or conversely dragging his flesh up inside his hair. Um, but nonetheless, it works pretty darn well. Okay, one last one there. And um, does a pretty good job as long as you don't like kill someone's nose.